Today we're going to show you the small adjustable wall pack. It comes in 13 and 26 watts. This particular model is a 13 watt. A couple of key features I'd like to show for you. Initially we were screwing this together, but now we tape it together, which makes your install time much shorter. Basically, you're going to install this plate into your application and then hang the fixture from there. Now, for all my outdoor fixtures, particularly with LED because they're such long life products, we want to make sure that we don't have to revisit that fixture for decades to come. So, I like to use outdoor rated caulking for all of my wherever a screw is penetrating and around the whole back of the electrical box just to make sure that this fixture is permanently installed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can mount just this back plate and then everything mounts to it. So I'm going to start by mounting this directly to our surface. In this case, I can do that because I've got a full gasketed back and it comes standard on every product. So I'm going to hardwire it to the wall and then we'll mount the fixture to it. I'm going to prep it by putting silicone across the back. It comes with a glass bubble level so that I know that I'm parallel to the ground. Perfectly level. Now an exceptional feature here is these little brackets which hold the fixture in place allowing me to do some two hands wiring. Obviously we're going to do our ground. We supply push-in wire type connectors so there's no stripping of the wires, there's no need to uh, have any tools, it's pretty straightforward. Our grounding is done. Our line is done. And now our neutral. Before I go ahead and close up the fixture, let me just check to make sure everything's wired properly. Fine. Now we'll hang the fixture. screws are already in place right from the factory. I just have to tighten them up. I'm all mounted and wired up. Now I'm going to choose the proper angle. I can go from a full 90 degree swivel I have to choose from. From straight out where I'm going to get the furthest projection to straight down where I can get intense light directly below. Once you find the angle that's best for you, you're going to use a 3 16 Allen wrench to tighten it up in place. Excellent. 